Are you guys ready for the fedia? I still gotta do my hair. Getting everyone ready when there's only one bathroom and 10 people living here? Yeah. And when we get home from a long day, long hot day, and everyone's gotta take a shower, and that's all the hot water you got. That's living rough. Waiting for the bus now. We made it. We haven't quite made it into the video yet, but look at these books. See, some of these books are way old. What the heck is, what is this thing? What the heck? If you collect old stuff or antiques, this place is like a wet dream. A lot of stuff uh, that's made by hand as well. I really gotta pee, and there's no bathroom around here. My sister-in-law told me to go find a tree. I gotta find somewhere to pee. This street looks pretty deserted. I've seriously never had to pee so bad in my life that I just pee right on the street. Cars going by and everything. If I was back home, I'd be arrested. Now we gotta wait for uh, a bus so we can go to Uncle Miguel's house. The Tio Miguel. El Tio Miguel worked his whole life with wood, and so he has all these uh, wood carvings he's done. We got the, the lamp. More carvings. This one right here is my favorite. We'll save him for the last. I'll show you why he's my favorite. This guy hangs on the wall. Little turtle. This is kind of like a, a prototype he made for a chair. Um, the chair folds up like that to soar. Yeah, these are carpinchos. In English, it's capybaras. Capybara. They're like rodents. And then we've got the little Indians here. So this guy's my favorite. This is why. <laughs> this 
This was all made in from one piece of wood. It's all just one piece. Here's another uh, woman lamp. All made out of one piece as well. In the plaza by Tio Miguel's house. This could get interesting. Heading back to Miguel's house to say goodbye and then we'll probably go back home. All together now. And we made it back home. That's a long bus ride. Some exciting news, I got invited to be on the radio here in Uruguay. So we'll see if that'll happen, Tuesday or Wednesday. I still can't believe I urinated on a public street.